guys welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel today i'm not putting on my glasses although i have it here with me but i decided not to put on the glasses because uh, my eyes are itching me a little bit so i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and as usual i love sharing information and today is for immigration which i mentioned immigration mondays and um uh, last week Monday I talked about the update of the MPMP and I think I omitted two things which I want to share and then before I will introduce my topic for today and one of them one of the updates to the MPMP is um, that if you have like um, two work experiences that are in two different related fields within the past five years let's say you are a medical doctor and at the same time you have an experience in administration or you had an experience in administration let's say within five years for six months and administration is in the occupation of in demand list you can actually um, ex put your expression of interest using the knock code for administration if you cannot find the knock code for um, doctor in the occupation in demand list so if you had an administrative experience for the past within the past five years for six months and your present occupation is not in demand but the experience you had uh, within five years um, for six months at least is in the occupation in demand list then you can actually put in your expression of interest so that's um, yeah that's one of the updates I missed out when I was talking about the Manitoba provincial nomination update um i think yes that's the only thing that i left out not two things it's the only thing i left out when i was talking about that update so today i will be talking about saskatchewan immigrant nominee program yes saskatchewan immigrant nominee program is what i'll be talking about and um saskatchewan has about six programs but five of them is tailored towards people who are already in canada or people who have plans of establishing a farm that's about yeah about five of them the only one I want to talk about is what concerns people who are outside of Canada and uh, that's the occupation in demand international skilled workers yeah and the uh, eligibility criteria is as usual you have you need to have your educational qualification you need to have your age you need to have your language ability you need to have your work experience if you have a close family in Saskatchewan, that's also another factor. If you schooled in Saskatchewan, that's also there. And then if you have a job, a valid job offer, that's um, a, a criteria. But I will narrow it down to what I think should make um, points eligible for the nomination. So the Saskatchewan Occupation in Demand has 19 professions. And out of the 19 professions, 14 of them require licensing and it means that you have to write the regulating bodies uh, they will verify your qualifications will verify your education and then maybe for some of them they require you to write an exam some don't require you write an exam the ones that require you write an exam you have to come to canada to write the exams and stuff like that so you go through all that process and then you get your license to be able to be eligible to apply for the ones that require licensing and out of the 19 five occupations does not require licensing and those five occupations are accounting technicians architectural technologists and technicians instructors of person with persons with disabilities and then uh, program leaders in recreation sports and fitness and then bakers so bakers these five occupations that i've mentioned do, does not require licensing and i'll be talking about the point assessment grid the point assessment grid is what points you get to be able to see if you'll be eligible for a drop so everything is based on a hundred points and if you have at least the minimum or the cutoff point is 60 if your if all the criteria put together can give you 60 and above then you'll be eligible for a nomination from Saskatchewan so um, now I'll be talking about the points what gives you points if you have a master's or a doctorate degree you get 23 points if you have a work experience from five years and above, you have 15 points. If you have language CLB8, which is an equivalent of IELTS7, language benchmark, you have um, 
20 points. If your age falls between 22 to 34, then you have 12 points. And if you have close family, you have 20 points. If you schooled in Saskatchewan, you have, I think, five points thereabouts. I'm not sure. I'll be dwelling on the ones that can give you points. So basically, for anybody who has a master's degree, falls between the age of uh, 22 to 34, and um, has an IELTS score that is seven, and has um, work experience that is five years and above. If you have this four, as long as you have this four, you can you are you are likely to get a Saskatchewan immigrant nominee letter. You, you are likely to get if and if you put your expression of interest into the uh, in. If you put in your expression of interest, you're likely to get the Saskatchewan nomination. So um, I'm encouraging everybody here to go and to check their um, eligibility. If you fall between the age of 22 to 34, you have over six years working experience. You have a master's degree. You have um, an IELTS score that is seven band occupation falls within these five occupations that have met that they have listed here mm -hmm. accounting technicians architectural technologists and technicians instructors of persons with disabilities program leaders in recreation sports and fitness bakers if you have this and this let me make, make emphasis on at least on the accounting technician Accounting technician, you can be an accountant, and if you have a master's, you are good to go as long as you fall within the age bracket so that you can get points. This is for people who do not have any relative in Saskatchewan because with relative, you have an extra 20 points. But if you don't have a relative and you have checked your checked the point assessment grid and you see that you fall in that line, I will encourage you to apply and you will get you likely get drawn and be given a uh, nomination letter then another thing is for bakers so bakers does not need, need any license if you know how to bake pastries like bread um, I don't know I can't remember meat pie beef pie all these pies croissant you know if you know how to bake a if you know how to bake pastries you don't need a license for it you can you can have a master's degree and be a baker because it's an occupation you know um, you can use that as an avenue to say, okay, yeah, you are a baker, but you have a master's degree. That's giving you a point. That's giving you an extra point. So you can apply for the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program. If you fall into the category of um, teaching children who have um, special, special, if, you, if you're teaching children with special needs, let's say you, you teach um, autistic children, you teach children with cere cerebral palsy, you teach children with uh, anyway any generally if you're helping somebody with um, special needs and you have a master's degree and your age is within that bracket and you have an IELTS score I think you are good to go in applying so there is no point delaying and looking for um, on other ways when this thing can when you can you know you can get a nomination from Saskatchewan even without adding the family factor score. The family factor score is just 20%. And if I calculate everything together, it's above, the, the minimum score to get drawn is 60 points. But if I calculate everything without close family points, I think the person should be getting above 60 points. I'll give, a, let me just quickly do a calculation. So for someone with a master's degree, you already have 23 points. And your work experience, which is above five um, years, you have 15 points. And then if you have an IELTS score of seven band, you're getting 20 points. And if you fall within the age bracket of 22 to 34, you're getting 12 points. So uh, calculating everything together um, is giving you two, four, six, 70 points. So you're already having 70 points above the maximum point of 60. So I encourage anybody who falls within this bracket, check your criteria. If you if your age is between 22 to 34, if you have a master's degree, if you have an IELTS score that is seven, um, yeah, that is seven, and your work experience is above five years, you can apply for Saskatchewan without including the close family connection, um, which I think is a good thing for people um, who are seeking to come to Canada. 
so this is the information i want to share um i'll be i'll be sharing more information i think next week monday i should be talking about uh, students because i've been receiving so many emails from students who plan to come to canada as students i'll be talking about the school fees and every other thing that has to go with um, coming to canada as a student thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye